let's say you're working for a multinational bank that is using IBM mainframe to host its core banking applications and they're using CA7 workload scheduler to schedule, run and monitor daily bad jobs which is used to process millions, in fact billions of transactions that happens throughout the day. So being an operator you should know how to use CA7 LQ command to view the status of jobs which is residing in different queues of CA7. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to today's session on CA7 commands. In this session, we will primarily focus on CA7 LQ commands and what are they used for. Apart from that, we will also look at different queues which is available in CA7 and how exactly you can use LQ command to view the status of job which is residing in different CA7 queues. So without wasting any time, let's focus on today's agenda. So we start today's session with introduction to CA7 workload automation or CA7 scheduler. After that, I will talk about three different CA7 queues. First one is request queue, second one is ready queue and the third one is active queue. Then we will deep dive into CA7 LQ command and what is the information that is displayed on the screen when you fire this command from the CA7. And finally, I will end this session with different variants of CA7 LQ commands. So ladies and gentlemen, before I start with today's presentation, I would request you all to do subscribe to our channel because we need your support to grow our channel and in case if you have already subscribed to our channel then I would like to say a big thank you for your subscription. So ladies and gentlemen let's get started with introduction. CA7 is a job scheduling software. It is mostly used by large enterprises that use IBM mainframe as a computing platform. CA7 is generally used to schedule, monitor and run daily bad job as per predefined plan. So CA7 has the concept of queue and each job has to go through these queue one by one before it is actually submitted for execution. So we will primarily focus on request queue, ready queue and active queue. So whenever CA7 schedule a job for processing, it plays that job in request queue. In the request queue, the jobs will wait until all the requirements are satisfied. When all the requirements are satisfied, they would move to a ready queue. From there, they are submitted to the computer for execution. And when they start running, they will move to a active queue. And remember, none of the job will be submitted until all its requirements have been satisfied either manually or automatically. Now, in order to view the status of job which is residing in these queues, you need to know the CA7 LQ command. So now let's look at the definition and what are the different variants of CA7 LQ command. So finally, the CA7 LQ command lists information about the job from the request queue, ready queue and active queue. In fact, it is extremely helpful in determining the queue in which a job is currently residing. The syntax of CA7 LQ command is pretty simple and straightforward. You only need to type LQ followed by a couple of different parameters on CA7 screen and hit enter. And as you hit enter, it will showcase all the information related to that particular job and where exactly that job is residing. So what I've done is I've just type in LQ and then hit enter without any additional parameter. So this is how the screen will look like. And I want to highlight three important columns out here. So the second column is a queue name, which is highlighted with red. Then you have entry mode, which is highlighted with green. And the last one is job status. So it is highlighted with blue. So the first column is job name because I've not specified any criteria. So it will list down all the jobs which is available at that point in time, right? So if you just see the second column, that's a queue name. So REQ is used for request queue. RDY is used for 
ready queue and ACT is used for active queue. So if you look at job Y, it is right now in ready queue, it's waiting. Then you have a job that is M123, it's right now in ready queue, so it is about to be submitted. Then you have a next job that is FYW883, so it is in active queue, so that means it is executing. Next important column is entry mode and this column showcase how the mainframe job get into this respective queue. It means how these jobs are triggered. For example, if you see the screen, you have DEMD. So that's a short form for demand and it, it tell you that somebody used a demand command to tell CA7 to execute this job. And similarly, you have auto that showcase that this job is either triggered by any other job or it could be a data set trigger job. The last column is job status and it is generally used to provide the current status of the job. The status can tell you like the job is late or it has abandoned or has failed with a JCL error. Now let's move on to the next section where we'll look at different formats of CA7 LQ command. So instead of listing all of the jobs in the three queue, you can very well narrow down the results to a specific queue or to a specific job status or to a job based on your requirement. So the first variant is LQ comma ST equals to late. This command list only late jobs. Next variant is LQ comma ST equals to RSTR. This command list all jobs that require a restart. Now next three commands are very helpful if you want to print the status of individual queue. So first one is LREQ. This will list the jobs in the request queue. Then you have LRDY. This will list the jobs that are submitted to the CPU but are not yet active. And last is LACT and this will list all the jobs that are currently executing on a CPU. Now let's move on to the next section where we'll look at different variants of LQ command which is very helpful in case if you want to see an additional information of a job which is residing in any of the queue, right? So the first command is LQ comma job equals to job name. This will display the queue information of a job. The next variant of LQ command which is very helpful in listing the satisfied and unsatisfied requirement of a job. So it is LQ comma job equals to job name comma list equals to RQMT. So this will going to list the satisfied and unsatisfied requirement of a specific job and the satisfied requirement will going to have X in front of them and unsatisfied one are without the X. Now the next variant is LQ comma job equals to job name comma list equals to Q. This command shows that the JCL comes from the override library. When a job ends successfully, it queue records move into the prior run queue. And to list the jobs currently in prior run queue, you use the command LPRRN. So this command actually lists the entries from the prior run queue. So ladies and gentlemen, this marks an end to our today's CA7 command reference tutorial. And I would request you all to do subscribe to our channel because we need your support to grow our channel. And in case if you have any questions or feedback, then please do mention in the comment section. I'm going to respond back after this presentation. Once again, thank you so much.